I can't freaking complain. Large foam rolled surround that's stitched to the cone. Hard dust cap, nice thick pulp paper cone. The glue connecting the spider to the cone is done well. Stitch leads. Great finishing for the coil. Good size motor. The K910 inches is an awesome subwoof for super surprise at the performance. Heat hard as hell I have it on a 600 watt kicker and profile. I could not be happier. It was 99 bucks, shushing face. Very well built, I will be doing more business with them. Peace they beat hard very impressed. I have the 6. 5 inches paired with the Rockville Mono DB11. Sounds amazing. Built my own center console box tuned to 40 HZ. Ran the Hertz test and it cut off at 25 HZ. This little thing surpassed my expectations. I have an infinite baffle firing through the OEM ski pass in a 2005 Lexus is 300. It beats hard with the RMS gain set just below 500 watts 2 ohms. Before I had a kicker L5 square 12. The Rockville K6 just sounds better and now the whole car shakes. All Rockville system with Rockville 5 channel Phenomen powering everything, 7 speakers. All Rockville all legit and confirmed by friends. Well I bought this sub kinda hesitant to buy only because I've never bought one on Amazon before but I can ensure you that this sub right here hits hard and let me just say there was a bad review I left it because this guy didn't know what he was doing and fried his amp because of it lol well oh. Towers over the kicker. I love it and will purchase another one soon. I have the sub running at 2 ohms on at 1000 W in a Q power box. It absolutely sounds amazing and hits like a $400 sub. If you have read negative things about this sub, just put into into perspective. Yes there are people absolutely maxing these things out and ignoring suggested RMS for competitions and what not having heat issues with the VC adherence. Run it as suggested and enjoy. Again my van system is Rockville and this sub booms keep in mind it's all about the tuning Rockville rocks. I am now a firm believer in Rockville products. Super nice quality. The speaker seems indestructible. The 12 inches speaker weighs about 40 pounds and looks super mean. I really don't see myself switching brands anytime soon. Great job Rockville. Product pounds very nice product. These two canines with my Rockville DB15 work beautifully together. Awesome set of speakers sounds great with my Boss Audio 3000 Watt Mono Block Class D amp. I did a test on coils, with a true RMS meter each one reads 2. 1 ohm each, I had this hooked up to an Behringer 6000 watt 2 channel amp, the amp is about 2600 watts each channel, very happy with sound coming out of this thing. It is mounted in an enclosed one. 9 cubit foot box I did a test with a sound generator high low frequency test and it did good in my opinion at about 25 HTZ it shook my living room pretty good, way more than my Alpine Type X, this thing is loud and pounds very hard, sorry about pictures I put them in C. The high note hits good from about 70 HTZ and down to about 25 HTZ, if you had a bigger box like 3 cubit foot, it would be louder on low end, I chose a smaller box because of space I don't have. I hope this helps you with your decision. This speaker is well 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 worth ID. Nothing to dislike about these speakers I bought 3 of them and man let me tell you, feel like my little car gonna fall apart every beat, lol. Love them wish I had more room I'll buy more.
OPS don't mind my wires haven't finished installing my battery and the amp is gonna be placed in the back other than to top of the box. I have two of the K612s running off a Rockville DB14 mono amp in my 2013 Ram truck in a fiberglass custom box under the rear seat. I bought the subs and N plus install kit as a package deal which made the subs a great deal at about $50 each. I have been breaking in the subs, so I haven't yet run them at full potential my amp can supply. The DB14 amp is around 1,000 watts CEA rated, so just a little under the subs RMS handling capacity. So far the subs sound excellent, accurate and tight clean sound in a sealed box. My box is at the minimum recommended cubic foot my box is slightly over 2 cubic feet, which is subs minimum for airspace, wish I could get 3 cf, but is under seats. Man oh man, haven't hooked it up yet but dom this thing is a beast of a sub. Best sound for the money. Have it turned up for over 2 hours every day and absolutely no issues. Rockville everything in my car and love it. I've been on a Rockville binge ever since I bought the DB45 4 channel amplifier a few months back and loved how it performed. I had recently built a new sub box for my car to drop in a SCAR Audio EVL 15 to ohm DVC sub and since that also recommends 1250 RMS to push, I ended up replacing my old Kenwood amp with a Rockville RDX M4 1500 RMS X1 ohm amplifier. With that being said, I've been playing the heck out of that sub slash amp for a month now and am extremely happy with how it sounds. So. I needed a second 15 inches sub for my other car. And I figured, why not the Rockville K9 15 inches 2 ohm DVC. Colin I've broke it in for the most part over the past week playing it in my garage sub box, not nearly as low of tuning as my car's box, and decided to swap out the scarf for the Rockville and play the same thumping music he'd been listening to to compare apples to apples. My box is 4. 25 cubic feet after speaker slash port displacement and 2 4 inches by 17 inches airports tuned to around 28 HZ. Very happy to say that it's nearly identical. I believe the SCAR still does hit a bit lower slash harder than the K9 still but compared to every other sub I've owned, these two are in a class of their own. They both punch pretty well for 15s but that low frequency rumble is amazing on both of these subs. Extremely satisfied with this sub, especially at this price. The resistance I get on my multimeter shows the scar between 0.9 ohms and 1. 1 ohms and the Rockville is between 1. 1 ohm and 1. 4 ohms so there's probably a little power difference between the two in what my amplifier is pushing to them but it's pretty close. Hopefully this is useful to anyone ready. Click link in description for more reviews.